Well, tax holiday for your groceries appears unlikely to happen this year. Tennessee's rev tax revenue is coming up well short of the projections, but Republicans are still talking about a tax cut for business. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien explores the potential changes. Tennessee's Republican legislature isn't planning on bringing back its food tax holiday from the last few years. Two years ago, we had really good growth in our revenue. We've had two months, I believe, of, of sales tax holiday on groceries. Last year, we had even more revenue. I think we did three months uh, of sales tax relief on groceries. This year, our revenue is flat. But where is some of that flattening of revenue coming from? I think it's an e economic factor. Um, it's really mostly in franchise and excise tax, uh, which is uh, known to be a very volatile tax. You know, it sort of has a trajectory, but year to year it can vary quite a bit. But this year, Tennessee lawmakers are looking to substantially or entirely cut the franchise tax and refund businesses who have paid it in the last three years. A move that has infuriated state Democrats who say it's a windfall for big corporations. They love to uh, love to talk about how they run government like a business, but we're not even doing right by our own shareholders, which are yeah. our constituents, the taxpayers. We're oh, yeah, shaving exactly. money off the top, so they're not even doing their own playbook right. But Finance Commissioner Jim Bryson pushed back on that notion arguing that it isn't just big businesses who pay a franchise tax. It's based on whatever is larger between a business's net worth or property value at the end of each year. And the size of the business doesn't matter. The franchise tax is paid by businesses of all sides. There are big businesses, but there's also businesses that are single proprietors, and there are people like your landscapers or your, your real estate agents and those people that have paid this tax, and they deserve uh, equal treatment just like anybody else does. Of course, Democrats say it'd be better for Tennesseans to drop the food tax instead. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien.